Well, Larry again with Vantora. I'm excited about this. We have just started a new thing on our uh, Vantora system, and it's a POS, right? We've had people asking for this for a while. We've been working on it. My field has been using it for about a month and a half now to make sure we got most of the bugs out. And uh, much like everything in our whole system, it's not done. Uh, we're constantly working to improve, but it's at a point now where I think some people might get some use out of it and have some fun with it um, and find that it's a, a pretty good uh, point of sale system. We're going to make it uh, relatively inexpensive. It's going to be 50 bucks a month, and uh, that will uh, uh, include any upgrades and and things that we do as we go along so for the first month it's going to be free so play with this thing for a month we're just going to put it out there where it's on there and if you want to mess with it you can and then after that if you decide to use it, it'll be fifty dollars a month for the point of sale system uh, making our whole package with point of sale and registrations and waivers and promo emails and the whole thing hundred bucks a month which is uh, realistically very very inexpensive for other options that are out there. Um, so let's talk about the point of sale system. I'm going to have to break this into several different videos. So uh, we will we will start with the first step, and that's getting things set up. So uh, well, heck, let's 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 do a quick uh, overview flyover of how things look. So you click point of sale system. You're going to uh, to get here. We already have some invoices working here, but let's just do a new invoice. So I can do a new invoice. I've got categories up here. Um, I got play, I got paintball, I got rental, I got uh, retail, I got concessions. So you can have categories off each one. There's uh, there's things. So if I have somebody that wants to buy 100 paintballs, I click there and they're getting 100 paintballs. And uh, they're also getting a, a air fill that I'm selling them. And they're going to rent some gloves. And in concessions, they're going to get a cookie. All right. So if that was the case, this invoice is going to be $19.33. So I say, great, let's go pay for this thing, and I can even split up the payments. So they're going to put $10 on a credit card, so I say, okay, $10 on a credit card. So I just put in the number and hit the button, and the rest are going to pay cash. So there they are. It's going to be uh, uh, nothing else is due, and now I hit receipt and it's going to pop up uh, my uh, receipt and I can hit OK to print. If you want, there's a thing called a seamless print that you can get to add to Firefox where it will just automatically print the invoice without you having to hit OK every time it goes. So here we can see the invoice that came up. It's going to drop your name and logo up at the top, give you an invoice number, the time and date that it happened, and the items they got, and uh, what their total payments are, and if we had paid too much and we gave them change, it'll, it'll, if they gave me a $20 bill, it'll even put how much change you're supposed to get right on the receipt. So that's what it's all going to look like. Um, after you're done uh, printing the thing, you click anywhere and you popped up, you're ready for the next one. If I go into my uh, point of sale uh, dashboard, okay, so here's the, uh, uh, the dashboard for it. I can look at, uh, these are open invoices, and here's all the closed invoices. If I look at my most recent closed invoice, there it is. So I can see what the person got, and I can take a look at how they paid for it. Um, I could print another copy of the receipt, but I can't go edit anything after it's done. I can go back and say, hey, I want to do a new invoice now, etc., but that's uh, that's where I am. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard now, and here's some open invoices. You can also do an invoice, leave it open, and not pay for the thing. So here's one that says scenario play, if, and we have that as an open invoice at this point. We'll go back to our dashboard and take a look at all that stuff. We can uh, <clears throat> also get reports. You must be an admin in order to get reports. So we're looking at some bogus reports for today. So we're saying we have two unpaid invoices that are open, 12 paid invoices, and uh, how much money we've collected and how much was in cash and credit and all that stuff, and what items we've sold. Here's uh, that cookie that we sold. All right, and we sold uh, that air fill that we saw, and uh, so anyway, all these items. We're going to be adding to the report, so it'll give you uh, what your uh, profit is based on uh, your cost and stuff that you put in the items. So there's kind of a flyover of how the system works. Um, just take a quick look at everything. I'm going to just uh, uh, call that quits for video one, and then in the next video, we're going to show you how to set it up.